Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you what to do if you ever come across a setup.py file and you're not sure how to uh, use it. So I found a random git repo, which by the way, I found using this random repo.com. Really cool. Uh, you can sort of choose your language and then it will generate a random repo for you to sort of check out. So you can play with that if you want. I thought I'd show you. Anyway, using that I found this AnyPrint uh, module, which looks quite fun actually. It looks like you can um, print the way you would do in other coding languages. For example, C++, uh, Lua, Java, C Sharp, and all of these. Uh, we could even extend it if you wanted to. So we're currently using WSL, which is Windows Subsystem for Linux. I've just opened a little terminal, and I do recommend using this on Windows when coding, because it's just nicer than Windows in my opinion. Anyway, we're going to start by just creating a directory, which I'm just going to call test. We're going to go inside there, and we're going to set up a virtual environment, which I'm just going to call um, myenv, like this. Uh, we need to use Python 3. So we've created that. And to activate it, we just do this. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and clone this repo. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. And we're going to do git clone. You can just download it and unzip it if you don't have git set up, which is fine. Um, so let's go inside here now. Let's go back to the top. And you can see we've got the setup.py file. Then we want to do python setup.py sdist. Once we've got this, we'll have created a few new files. Uh, the main one we're interested in, uh, interested in is this disk file. Um, let's bring that back to the top, clear that, and you can see we've created this uh, tar file. And if we actually go back to our repo, which I've got open over here, and we go into the setup file, we can see it wanted to name it any print, which it has done, and then it's also um, got the version. So this is what we want to uh, pip install. So we want to do pip install any print like this and we have actually installed it now so if we were to run our python shell and we import any print like so let's go back to the commands so we import any print like this and now any of these should actually work uh, what are we interested in first let's let's use this one so that's pretty cool. And that's really all there is to this. So if you want to annoy your work colleagues, you can install this module and then just write, start writing all your print statements in different languages. This one looks fun too. But yeah, that's it. So if you've got any questions, let me know below. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that.